Good evening, currency traders. This is Zanka Metcalf with TradeAllout.com, bringing you the weekly bias for the most important currency pairs, the currency pairs that we will focus our attention this week. Today is Sunday, June 9th, and it is about 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So let's get started. But first, let's take a look at the news that we should expect this upcoming week. So today, Sunday, we do have some releases from the Chinese, uh, and uh, that is retail sales um, that came in with uh, no deviation than the forecast. So uh, uh, that is a positive outcome. And also industrial production uh, came out slightly lower in percentage at 9.2 uh, compared to the forecast of 9.04% uh, and previous 9.3%. Uh, Upcoming news uh, as well, we had um, uh, Japanese uh, current accounts that came in positive. We had the Japanese final GDP that came in at 1%. And we had the final GDP price index that came in at minus 1.1%. Today, we should know the fact that we have Chinese bank holiday. On Monday, we have a series of events amongst which one is very important for the yen. And that is Tuesday for yen. So we will focus our attention towards the evening session. So that is after 6, 7 p.m. when the Asian market is going to open. And that is monetary policy statement. That is very, very important. A much-awaited news for them. And as well, on Tuesday, we're going to focus on the BOJ press conference that is the bank of japan press conference that is very important rate decision so that's going to influence a lot the dollar yen so we're going to focus on that and we're going to look at some technicals uh on the chart of the dollar yen um also we're going to have uh some other news scheduled for the european session that is tuesday of high impact and that is manufacturing production then we're going to jump into Wednesday and uh, also uh, GBP uh, news claimant uh, count change. So uh, as well, we're going to focus our attention as uh, at that. And then let's not forget 5 p.m. New Zealand news, official cash rate, then the press conference for the RBNZ. So uh, we're going to watch the bank rate as well and the statement following immediately. So that's going to be a very, very active trading session um, after 5 p.m. on Wednesday. So uh, we're going to look at the Australian dollar uh, and uh, uh, New Zealand dollar as well, currency pairs. That's going to be our, uh, our focus. Then on Thursday, we have um, the core retail sales, the retail sales, or sales and unemployment claims. If we have no deviation in these unemployment claims, this should be good for the market, for the U.S. stock market, and that's going to influence the dollar as well. So we're going to watch that as the U.S. Uh, uh, stock market uh, might make a new leg up based on this news. So this is the most important news for the stock market that is going to be awaited. Uh, and then on Friday, uh, we're only going to have three high-impact news uh, scheduled, and that is uh, at 8.30, manufacturing sales, and then uh, for, um, that is for the Canadian, the, um, influencing the Canadian dollar mostly, and then we have U.S. dollar with the PPI and uh, U.S. dollar preliminary uh, University of Michigan consumer sentiment. Again, uh, we're going to watch the U.S. dollar. And now let's go to the chart settings. We're going to start with the dollar yen. And right in front of me, I have a four-hour chart of this currency pair. And we've watched and we've been in this trade short. Uh, we made a lot of pips on its way down. But the question is, is 95 the last halt before, uh, before the bounce or before the drop? So there's a lot of uncertainty. And like I said, we're going to wait for the... And it's not, we're going to wait for uh, the Bank of Japan decision rate in order to uh, create that, uh, to, to break out of its pattern. And it's most likely that it's going to remain in range. And that decision rate will either break it 
or will push it higher. So far, support level is set at 95, and then we have a lot of resistance that is at 98.80. So right now, the price action is currently blocked between 97.70 and 98.40. Let's drill down to the 15 minute chart to see how uh, the price action is shaping up. So this is uh, the open today. It got mildly up and it pushed a little higher and then it came right into the uh, support level, the open support level right here. So pretty much sideways action. Um, and then again, uh, until the rate decision is coming out, there's not going to be probably much activity in, uh, into this. So uh, we're awaiting a signal on this. Not yet. Um, we're not in any active trades as of yet. But uh, I will keep you updated when we are going to uh, initiate a trade in this currency pair. So, so far, we're flat. We're awaiting signal on this currency pair. Now let's take a look at the uh, at the daily to see how it's shaping up, and you can see it right here at ninety five dollars Friday's low, and there was still a tradable void up to ninety two dollars uh, ninety two point eighty into this area. So quite considerable tradable void right here. So is this resistance going to hold? Is this resistance going to create a lot of selling pressure to project it down to ninety five and then to ninety two? We'll just wait for that and uh, see how it's raised so far no active uh, trades as of yet in the dollar yen. And now let's talk about the uh, euro dollar. And we're going to start with the daily chart of the euro dollar. Uh, so far, we had a really nice pop off these lows, off these support levels right here. And you could see the bottom. Uh, and this is a bottom that was last year uh, in November. So November 2012. And if you look at the uh, large time frame, you could see that it formed another bottom right here that is slightly higher. So uh, we could see like uh, basically what we were witnessing right here is rock rising bottoms. So this bottom right here is a little uh, slightly higher than the previous bottom. Right now we have tested on Friday a new high into uh, 1.3300. We tested that psychological number and now we came back down to this minor support area of 3186. Uh, for now, you could see that the most that most of the currency pairs are held into these congestion areas, and unless we have more information, we cannot actively uh, initiate a trade long or short in these currency pairs. First of all, we got to make sure that three one eight six area is holding before initiating along and we have to analyze the price reaction within this tradable void right here. The idea is that the general trend, you could see it on the daily, is rather weak, but but uh, if we violate 3186 and the more we trade into this area, this might project this currency this currency pair lower. So the dollar euro dollar can trade lower if 3186 is tested and if the price remains at or under this price range. And this could project it again into this bottom right here. And again, we're going to talk values of 1.3000 and 1.2900 and 1 almost uh, 2850. So these are the numbers that we're talking about in case the dollar is going to trade below 318. 85 so around that area but again no active trades as of yet in the euro dollar very calm market so far the market is digesting friday's uh big big moves so we're gonna uh keep you posted uh, on the euro dollar trade if we should initiate something but the general idea would be uh, that if uh, if we retest 3186 then we can uh, actually take an aggressive short all right, net, let's continue now with the following currency pair, which is the Aussie US dollar. 
And right here in front of us, we have uh, the, ch the daily chart of this currency pair. And uh, so far, you could see the support level that was created right here. And I'm going to drill down to the one hour chart so you could see what I'm talking about. All right. So heavy support into this area created last week, okay, at 9430 was uh, breached at today's open, mile gap down below support area. Support area, psychological area, 0 0.9400 was retested. And now we're trading above this minor resistance area of 9430, previous area of support. Okay, so what the major areas of concern are right here. So if this currency pair is going to trade higher, and into 9500, then it's still going to look short because the major down the, the major uh, trend in this currency pair is lower. So therefore, we're going to wait and see how 9500 is tested and retested at that area and see how price action, if the, if the price action is actually going to trade into this number right here. So, so far, no active signal for the Aussie dollar. It's still a very weak currency pair, but we're going to watch and see how it's going to, uh, how this is going to evolve. And then, uh, again, we're going to take a look at the pound dollar. Okay, let's go to the daily chart. All right, so right in front of us, we have the pound dollar daily chart. And as you can see right now, it's trading into 5600. I mean, it's not trading, sorry. Uh, it is a heavy resistance area into 5600. We had a very aggressive move into Friday, a pop above this uh, this number almost to five five seven zero zero area so again very very powerful move so far what we have right here is a support level on friday that was created at one point five five four eight seven and then again a push again today a little bit higher into that uh five five and almost to that five five area so let's drill down to the one hour chart and see how it's shaping up so you can see the grind right here, right after we have created this high on Friday. And again, there was a little bit of profit taking here, but still, you know, there are, there's a little, there, there is a, a, a lot of room to the upside for this currency pair to go. So therefore, this is the new support area that was created, 5486. And again, if this area holds and once this uh, th this uh, currency pair trades above the congestion area of 5620, then this has high odds of continuing higher. If we trade lower and if we challenge 1.5485, then we have more odds of continuing lower and retesting, uh, retesting the lows again. And that would have projected uh, into a considerable uh, tradable void up to 5020 and 5000 area again. So uh, we'll see how uh, uh, how that's going to shape up. All right, this was all for today. Thank you so much for listening. Again, we don't have any active trades or active calls at this time. Uh, but as soon as we're going to analyze the markets tomorrow morning, we're going to see how the overnight news is influencing uh, the currencies and it's going uh, to influence the overall market. And uh, we might uh, have uh, some uh, uh, short term trades active by tomorrow morning around uh, 930 to 10 a.m. Until then, thank you so much for uh, thank you so much for listening and for watching. Don't forget to subscribe right above. You can see the subscribe button. And if you want to uh, check our Facebook page uh, right above our uh, our video right here, there's the Facebook icon. You can uh, click on it and that directs you. Make sure you uh, become uh, uh, become one of our active members on uh, Facebook. Uh, we post a lot of comments. You can ask us uh, questions as well as here. You can post comments or questions uh, and I'll get back to you. So thank you so much for listening. This was all for tonight. Sorry, there is no, uh, there are no active trades as of uh, right now. But I, th the, uh, I think we should have a very nice and active week in the currency market. And until next time, um, hope you make, 